What is up guys, Cartaka here, and today I'm here with another Digimon unboxing video. Today we'll be unboxing the premium binder set from the Digimon card game. So this is a little bit different than the previous binder set that we got. Uh, instead of the crappy three ring binder that we got from the Real Knight set, we get a nice Beelzemon binder um, from Bandai. So let's get right into the unboxing. So, let's see. This is a product that I think they are definitely going on the right track of. Like they may, you know, every time we review on these P Bandai products, I think they are improving step by step. You know, from their playmat sets to their binder sets, they are improving a little bit, even if it's just a little bit. So this is the binder, and stuck on the back is the promos, which I think is. Fine. Maybe they could have done it a little bit nicer, like put it inside the binder or something, but I think that is okay. Or, or give it something a little bit harder for protection, like a little box or something, but uh, that's fine. So, there we go. Stuck in there with tape. So I think most people will be buying this for the actual um, cards. So we'll be looking at the cards first. Alright, so we get the Bell Starmon from BT6. So this is the secret version. So it's very nice that they reprinted this one. Uh, the old art, like the regular art, a lot of people didn't like because um, the proportions of her look really weird. And the old art version was really expensive. So this is a nice alternative to have. I personally am using the uh, secret version from B6 for uh, my deck So I probably won't be using this but this will look pretty nice in my binder and you get two of them also a thing to note is These aren't really textured so they're textured But they're like really glossy type of texture so like the actual Digimon doesn't pop out from the art like some of the other old arts Actually, let me Show you what I mean and I think this was, this was the same for the Dioboromon, um, the Dioboromon cards from the, from the playmat set. So if you have the original BT7 Bellstarmon, you can kind of see like only the Bellstarmon is glossy. And then like the side here is like, the texture is, like you can feel it pretty pretty much uh, and the text you know the text is a, a separate layer on its own like you can feel you can see that it's the card is layered uh, all around for the new promos it feels like they in the card they add textures and they add a layer of gloss onto it so it feels a little bit I don't know I don't know how to say it's uh, you can't really feel the texture on the card. That's fine. I, I I guess it's personal preference, but I kind of like the old way they they did it a little bit more. Like even if you look at the, the text, it's not super layered. It's like one layer there. Maybe it's a new technique. I don't know. So we're also gonna use this Belzamon from EX6 to do a comparison with the texture from the new. Binder. Uh, gee. Okay. We'll, we'll look at we'll look at the rest of the cards first, and then we'll do the comparison later. So we have the Bellstarmon. We also have Lusamon, which is nice that they reprinted. This is also a secret one, so you can, if you don't have access to the old one, you can use this one if you want to build the Demon Lord deck. We also have a very nice, swaggy looking Bellstarmon X Anybody. Very nice art. He already has an old art, but this one looks pretty good as well. And we have the Bilzamon from EX2. So you get two of those. So you get two of each, pretty good. So... Actually, for the Bilzamon here, it does 
look a little bit more layered. It might be the card itself, like, uh, okay, so the loose amount here is the layering. <coughs> Sorry, I, I guess it's because the Bellstorm on it, her whole body is pretty much the art. So the texture in the back doesn't look as textured it textured So let's kind of compare the Beelzemon since they're both Beelzemon. So this is the, the whole figure is here is glossy and the back is textured. The fire effect here is also textured. But for the The other one here, you can see there's a lot more layering on the on the alt art. So you can see that like the black shadows, it's, its own layer, and the Beelzebub is its own layer. And there's just a lot more going on in the art. And the textures, it just feels like a different type of texture. Like even this glossy texture feels less foily than, than this one. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a, maybe it's just a conspiracy theory on my part, but it, I don't know. Maybe. So anyway, they're, they're still really nice cards. I just feel like the way that they finish these uh, old arts is different from how they finish the uh, booster set alt arts. Let me know what you guys think. If you, if you guys also picked up a set of these, let me know if you guys also think the finish is a little bit different. All right, so after the cards, let's also look at the, the binder itself. So I'm not gonna open this one just because I don't have a use for it yet, but I actually already opened my other binder since I wanted to place out the cards. So I actually opened it already. So. Here is the actual binder. It looks very nice. It is textured. Um, I mean, there's there's like um, it's just layering. Like if you, the the Beelzebub is kind of engraved into the fake leather there. So it, it does feel like a lot more premium. It feels like a premium Bandai product. Like it does, deserves the name of premium. So we get the zipper. And let me put this aside first. So this is I, I just put my Star Dex stuff in here just to fill up my binder. I don't usually use these three pocket ones because I like the four pocket ones. But I, I'm I'm currently out of four pocket ones, so I'm gonna use this one for the time being. But yeah, this is nice. This is really nice. Um, the pockets are using the side loaded side loaded pockets. So that's pretty good. So yeah, I have nothing to complain about this product. It is, I believe you do get the price that you paid for. This is a little bit on the expensive side. Uh, last time I checked, well, how much was this? Uh, let's see, premium buyer set, P Bandai. This is retailing for um, 100 US. So it's quite an expensive item, uh, but you get some pretty good cards in this binder set. So the Beelstamon, Beelstamon is a secret. The Lusamon Chaos Mode is a secret. And the other two are SRs. So they're definitely good good cards with all the arts. So I think the cards that you get and the binder that you get is worth the hundred bucks. Of course, not everybody would agree with me. Um, if if they give us a playset of the cards, then they'll be definitely worth a hundred bucks. Right now, 
it's debatable whether, you know, oh, Bandai just wants us to buy multiple of these, so that's why they only gave us two. But they could have they could have been worse. They could have given us one of each, and you would be really, really unhappy about that. So I think uh, they're in, in, going in the right step. Maybe later on they'll get, give us actual playsets for products. But for now, it's fine. But before we wrap things up, I actually do want, do want to do a comparison between the um, P Bandai binder and the other binder I got. So this is uh, the Us Usagi Draws uh, binder. So I want to do a comparison of it because they have a very similar design. I do have a lot of the Usagi Draws binders in my collection. So um, let's you know, I haven't opened this one yet because I am currently using the currently using the All Force and Alphamon binders, but I haven't used this one yet. So we're opening it together. So this is the Beelzemon binder. Obviously the art is different because I think this is drawn by Usagi Draws, so it is like a unique design. Uh, but this one feels more premium than the premium banner one, in my opinion. The engraving is a little bit more engraved. Um, there's more texturing on the binder, like... I don't know, actually, they're both good textures, but maybe it's up to your personal preference. This was obviously a little bit cheaper, it's not, it wasn't 100 bucks, it was like 30 US or something. I don't remember the actual price, I bought this a while ago, but... Instead of the Digimon card game, it says Dalesmon. And I think this is the Digimon text, Dalesmon. Obviously to avoid using copyrighted logos. All right. And here is the binder. They're using the same, you know, nine pocket binders. I usually use, use these binders to put alt arts, so that's why I have these. As the little paper thing there. And this thing actually it also came with the stickers. So yeah, um, just like looking at the added, I think the Usagi Draw ones has more pages. Count one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So twenty pages. The official Bandai one has, I think, not as many. One, two, oops, three. Okay, so it, it does have 20. They both have 20. Uh, I guess the pages are just thinner for the Bandai ones. I don't know. Obviously, Bandai is a huge company, so they have more resources to develop and, you know, ordering stuff in more bulk. So maybe they have a better deal on it. And texture-wise, I think it's really up to personal preference. This one is more of a like synthetic lettery kind of feel. This one is not exactly leather, but it does have like um, like this, it's like, what do you call this? It's kind of like a wood, wood, <laughs> wood pattern, but not really. Um, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it, but they both feel really good. Um, I just, I just don't know, I don't know. Wh which one do you guys think look better? I think they look, both look pretty good. Like if you're a Beelzemon fan, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna love it. Um, just to show things up before I wrap things up. I have a, I bought a Gallimon one from them as well. And this one looks really, really good. It doesn't have Gallimon in the text, but it has a bigger looking Gallimon, which looks really good. And the back is just plain, but I really love this binder. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. And it is obviously zipped up. So if Bandai makes one of the a Gallimon binder, I, I'd be down. <laughs> I, I'd be down. I, I'd, I'd buy, a, you know, two playsets of those. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Just want to talk about the new product that Banda released and kind of share my conspiracy theory. What do you guys think about it? Do you guys think if you guys have this, or I think it's the same with the Diaboromon one as well. 
Do you guys think they're using a different finish for the old arts from the binder sets? Or if I'm just tripping? It just feels different. Like, they just feel glossier than the actual main set and extra booster ones. Let me actually grab another alt art just to see if if that is the case. Um, let's grab one from a little bit. So this is the War Greymon from oops, B12. Okay, I, I know what the difference is. The back. Um, remember how I talked about how I feel like the promo ones are a little bit like the P Bandai ones are a little bit feel a little bit more glossy. It's the same thing. Uh, the back feels a little bit more glossy uh, if compared to the main set ones. Let me see if this one is glossy as well. No, this one is it's, it's not. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's so weird. They look very similar. Like on camera, you can't really see the difference, but uh, this card definitely feels less glossy than this one. In the back, it, it feels less smooth. It feels more like cardboard. This one feels more like plastic. Even it is cardboard, but it is it's more plasticky, like it's smoother. So I'm not sure if they're using different materials for the for the P Bandai set cards, but either way, they're nice. I don't regret buying two play sets, two, uh, two binders of these, and I think if you guys ordered this as well, then. You're gonna have a good time, especially if you are fans of the Beelzemon, Beelzemon, and Lucifermon, Lucifermon cards. <laughs> yeah, but at that point, at this point, I'm, I'm just rambling. The cards feel really smooth in the, on the side as well, so I guess maybe it's. Yeah, I don't know. Cards just feel smoother from from this. All right, that's enough conspiracy theory for me. But uh, yeah. That's uh, Karataku. If you guys want to support the channel, feel free to use the links down below. But yeah, uh, until next time, this is Karataku, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!